this is another French lesson. Um, a lot of you, after my first one, were like, yes, do more, which I'm so glad because I love teaching French, even if I'm not qualified. Uh, <laughs> it's a lot of fun, and I want everyone to speak French, so. So first, I'm gonna teach you the subject pronouns, which is what you're gonna need before conjugating any verbs. You need to know what your subject is. I'll just go through them all and show you how to pronounce them. Uh, that's really all I can do. Je is I, je, tu, that's you, informal singular, il is he, elle, her, and un. French is a really nasal language, so that O-N is like un. Um, and that means, that means one, but we, the French use it to say like we, but to say we really, it would be nous, which is we. Then vous is you plural, or um, you singular and formal. So like if I was talking to my professor, um, or like some random person, or like a really old person that I don't really know, I would use vous, even though it's only one person. I'm using, I want to use the formal version, so I'd say vous instead of tu. So if I was talking to my friends, I would say tu. But I'm not, so I would use vous. And then il, elle, uh, plural. So they, and also one thing to keep in mind in French, if, okay, so if you're talking about a group of guys, it's gonna be il. If you're talking about a group of all girls, it's gonna be elle. If you're talking about a group of guys and girls, it's always gonna be il. Even if it's like every single girl in the entire world and one guy, you're gonna still use il, not l. So keep that in mind. Next, I'm going to teach you the basic verbs of pretty much any language, I would think. So that's to be and to have. So to be in French is être. The pronunciation for me is hard for that one even because it ends in that R and the R in French is hard to pronounce. I mean, I'm working on it, but so to be is être, être. I will go ahead and conjugate that for you. Je suis, tu es, which is also short to te. For example, like, um, like the faster you talk in French, like the more things you contract, sort of. So like instead of saying like, um, telling like a guy like you're really attractive, instead of saying tu es très beau, uh, je, uh, <laughs> I would say t'es très beau. Tu es très beau. T'es très beau. Il est, elle est, on est. But you don't say on est, you say on est. And then nous sommes, silent s for nous, et aussi, et, <laughs> and also for sont. Nous sommes, nous sommes, vous êtes, and between the S, the S in vous, and the E in et, you're going to have a liaison, so that's why it's, instead of vous êtes, it's vous êtes, ils sont, elles sont, so that's to be, yep, and then, sorry, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and then to have is no, oh my god, I'm fucking up so hard right now. Also, I want to stop swearing so much. Or at least not say like the most main swear word of them all. Like I say fuck a lot and I really want to not anymore. Like I mean sometimes it's called for, but most of the times it's not and I just need to calm down. Next is to have, which is um, avoir, avoir, j'ai. And you're probably like, what the heck, Rosie? You said that that I in French is je, but you're saying like je, what? What it is, is whenever you have je and then the next word starts with a vowel, you're gonna take off the E in je and you're gonna add an apostrophe and then the word that follows it. So instead of je ai, you're gonna have je. So I have tu a, il elle a, il elle un a, on a, nous avons, vous avez, et ils ont, elles sont. Right. Yeah. Yeah, so, uh, practice those, and I'm done with finals. Woo, motherfuckers. Do you see what I mean? I just said motherfuckers. Like, I could call, I don't have to say motherfuckers.
I don't have the same motherfuckers. I've just said it um, like five times. Anyway, yeah, I'm finished with finals. I finished all my papers. I turned everything in. All the stress or a lot of it, like now I have room in my mind to be happy and think of happy things. Because I was just like, work, work, work. And I was having other problems that were stupid. Yeah, it was dumb. But now I have room to be happy and I'm excited. Some of you may be wondering, like, are you going to Paris or what's up with that? I, yeah, I'm going, but like, I'm waiting to hear back from something. Like, I've been accepted for this internship and blah, 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 but they have to verify that I'm not a criminal, which I'm not, but it's just taking them a very long time. So, I'm just kind of waiting on them to let me know so I can book my freaking apartment. Like, I gotta, I gotta cancel my housing on campus for next semester, which I've already, the due date for that has passed. And then I also have to figure out if I'm taking my classes or not next semester, because if I'm not here, I can't take them, because I'm gonna be working 40 hours a week. And oh my god, it's just so much to do, and I keep calling them. I literally call them like three times a day, I'm, and I'm like, hello, did you like, you know, can I, like, is it done yet? Hello? And the only, I've called them so many times, the only time I've actually talked to a person was once, and they were like, our systems are down, so we can't check your, like, your, we can't update you on your status, so uh, call back in two hours when our systems are back up. And I did, and what do I get? A voicemail. No! That's kind of still stressful, but now that's all I, I can just focus on that. I don't want to worry about freaking art history, about freaking food class, food and culture class, about linguistics, even though that's really enjoyable. Don't worry about my French classes, which I also love, it's very enjoyable, but you know what I'm saying. But yeah, I'm happy, woo! And now we're just, I'm just counting down, first of all, the days until I hear back from these people, and then I'm counting down the days until I go to France again. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Anyway, so practice this stuff. If you, any of you are learning French or if you want to know a certain topic about French language, like whether it's like a basic thing or like a more advanced thing like like the subjunctive or I don't know what, whatever you want to learn, comment below and I will try to get on that because now I'm going to have more time. I'm still going to be busy preparing for France and stuff but I'll have more time. So let me know in the comments and I guess I will see you in my next video. My hair looks really good today, don't you? Agree? I literally have an ice cream on my head. Oh my god, like a swirled ice cream. Whatever. I had to get up at 6 this morning and I had an 8 a.m. exam. <sighs>